The mission was deployed from the 1st of October 2008, uh, that is shortly after uh, the, uh, the war. Uh, the EU uh, helped to broker a ceasefire agreement uh, and then afterwards committed to deploying a mission uh, to monitor that all the parties were complying. Uh, we focus a lot on stability to ensure there's uh, not resumption of hostilities, uh, that incidents do not flare up. Um, uh, we are very much focused also on uh, looking at the daily lives of what we call the conflict affected population, uh, villages, communities along the administrative boundary line uh, with South Ossetia and Abkhazia, as we call it the ABL, um, to, uh, to see how uh, they're doing in uh, resuming normal lives. Uh, so these are kind of two core elements in, in our mandate. Stability and what we call... No we have 210 uh, monitors on the ground. Uh, they come from uh, 24 different EU member states. I think that shows a very big commitment by the Union uh, to this mission um, and to uh, the question of stability uh, in Georgia. Um, we have a very good and dense relationship with the uh, communities along the ABL. We interact with them on a daily basis. Uh, our monitors out there, uh, as I said, patrolling on the ground, uh, looking at what's going on. Uh, we talk with people, understand their concerns and grievances, uh, get from them information on what's going on. And we establish a very close relationship. We know people very well. We know the villagers well. They know our monitors. They have been seeing them for nine years. Uh, so we're facilitate uh, information sharing, uh, and we play a leading role through the hotline. Uh, we have somebody here who is a, a hotline holder, as we call them. They facilitate communication across the ABL 24 hours a day. Um, we have had last year alone 1,006. I think uh, our presence here is important uh, for a number of reasons. We make a difference. We are the only international presence on the ground. Uh, we monitor what's going on, we report, report to the EU member states, to EU institutions, but also to the wider international community. We are the eyes and ears, uh, so to speak, of the world uh, when it comes to the conflict. I think our presence has an impact on stability. We try to uh, look at incidents, to uh, establish communication, to ensure there's a dialogue whenever things could flare up and tension could arise. And frankly, I think the situation has remained relatively stable. There are problems, there are issues, there are developments which are definitely worrying, but relatively stable also thanks to the presence of the UMM.